Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of endometrial osseous metaplasia. This is quite a common case in our practice, but sometimes it may make you a little bit confused. So let's see today's case. So this is a 43 year old female patient who came with non-specific abdominal pain with a history of endometrial calcifications diagnosed on previous ultrasound scans and then she went for a DNC, that is the uh, dilatation and curatus. And I asked the patient, uh, she said that she has a normal menstrual cycle with uh, no severe dysmenorrhea or something like uh, the menorrhagia. So let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Now here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see um, this is the endometrial lining. But here you can see some echogenic linear structures uh, here and you can see also here. So these echogenic linear structures are along the endometrial lining. You can see some faint posterior acoustic shadows from this part. So uh, these echogenic structures are nothing but the endometrial calcifications. So these are like a bony calcification, so very strong. And if you try to uh, remove it with DNC, Possibly uh, you can just remove some flex, but uh, to remove it completely, uh, you really uh, would face difficulty when you are doing a DNC. So here is a magnified view, and now you can see this echogenic uh, calcific plugs within the endometrium. So it may be also misdiagnosed as um, the intrauterine contraceptive device. You can easily uh, differentiate it just put the transducer transversely and if it is an intrauterine contraceptive device especially the copper t you'll see the t-shaped pattern and uh, this horizontal part will be easily understandable on transverse section here's the transverse section and now you can see there is no horizontal part like that so these are nothing but the calcific areas within the endometrium you can see a glimpse of right ovary here also containing a follicle here. Here's another view with a longitudinal section and you still can see this echogenic calcific plux within the endometrium. You can see this is the uh, normal endometrium at the upper part of the uterine body. Here's another view with a different preset. So just to see the surrounding area with a different preset will help you evaluate uh, the lesions quite confidently now you can see this is the normal endometrium at this part and these are the echogenic calcific plaques uh, you can see at the lower part of the uterine body and also adjacent to the in a cervical canal or even uh, including the cervical endometrium here's the picture now you can see the uterus is a normal in size uh, in longitudinal and transverse sections here these are the calcific foci you can see on longitudinal and transverse sections. So in summary, there are multiple hyperechoic linear areas within the endometrium casting faint posterior acoustic shadows. So this feature is concluded as a case of endometrial osseous metaplasia. Now the take home message. Endometrial osseous metaplasia may cause menorrhagia and or, or infertility. So if the patient wants to conceive, you really have to remove this uh, calcific foci, either by hysteroscopy or something you know better than me. So uh, this patient is of 43 years old and having no menstrual complaints and uh, there is no possibility of taking another uh, child. So she is not interested to go further. Anyway, so all depends on my clinicians. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it will help you uh, in your regular practice. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. We'll try to post uh, more videos in uh, recent days. So don't forget to check that. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.